think we're live. I probably screwed that up. What do you know? I don't know. We so, are prompt and timely. Look at that. Okay. Comment, what does that mean? What comment moderation not set? That's, that's interesting. All right, peeps. All right, here we go. Woo -woo. We're live. I think I think that we did the initial cling. We figured out that um, if you, whatever we're doing oh, when sorry. we go live. What would you like when, to? No, whenever we're, whenever we're doing when we go live is, uh, <laughs> that's what shows in our screenshot, so. So instead of me like, yeah. Mid mid talk, mid laugh, whatever. Me, like, we actually post, or me, yeah, talking with my hands or whatever. Right. So you said you were gonna run the. I like to run the mouse. Run the mouse here. I like to be in charge right. of the comments, because right, I peeps. get just I get distracted by the comments very 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 easily quickly. Cool. Seven oh one. We are prompt. We are good. Fifteen Perfect. peeps joining us. So, Lovely. Yeah, so we've got, so what is this, our third time now doing? Well, for this years? round, this, yeah, this, this shutdown, this is our third. This round of shutdown. Does that mean we've survived three weeks worth of shutdown? Yeah. All right. Cheers to that. Right. Yes, that is absolutely cheers a cheers to that. We didn't do, uh, hey, Scott, how's it going? Um, what do we do it? Three or four times? I don't know. How many times did we do it during the first shutdown? I don't even remember. I don't know. Those were, um, those were a little bit more hmm, and chaotic. I, I don't know. More tears? Did we have tears? I did. It was terrible. Oh, not the not the three minutes. Oh. Sorry, I thought. <laughs> sorry, we cried on shutdown. camera. <laughs> talking about the first shutdown there. Oh no! Yes, definitely there were um, tears during the first shutdown. I thought we were talking about oh. being on camera the first time. <laughs> And I'm like, we didn't cry. We drank a lot. Cheers, Simon. We drank a lot, a lot. I don't know if that's past tense exactly. No. Nope. Or no, currently. Definitely not. Yeah. yeah. We couldn't wait, so we cracked into our growler growler early. Mini growler. So a little yes. seven fifty. Mini. Because yeah. we got three, so I mean that yeah. it, it just felt appropriate and I was really excited for the beer we're gonna have. So All right, so what we got what we got right now, how about you introduce it? Because <gasps> I'm so excited. Do you remember the name? What we called it? Yeah, because yeah. I picked it or because I put it in the voting thing, whatever. Okay. We are tasting right now our new Fandangoed Obsession, everyone's obsession, Dead On Dill. It is our dill pickle cream ale. And I love all things pickle, like literally all things pickle, the chips, the dips, the... Fried pickles. Oh, yeah, fried pickles. Love it. We have multiple kinds of pickles in our um, in our fridge at all times, and this is tasty. I wanted to do something like this for a while, and... Apparently it took a shutdown in COVID to be like, sure, for Patrick. Yeah, we got say, bored, What the hell? So, yeah, we got bored, so why not? why not? So that's what we were tasting. It came out on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I, it feels kind of wrong that we're tasting it now because it's gone. Yeah, it's gone now. Um, we did four kegs of it. And, uh, well, no, I'll take that back. We've done, we did one keg of it, uh, what was it, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, something like that. Just kind of on a pickle day. Yeah, National Pickle Day. That's what it was. It was a Saturday. And we, we came out with that, and uh, we were sold out. Two and a half hours, three hours max. Was it? Yeah. It was gone. That was so we're like, hmm, maybe this is a thing. And we heard we had a lot of sad people. So we're like, all right, let's let's make some more. Yeah, so we went a little bit bigger this time. We did we did four kegs of it. or I should say Cody. Shout out to Cody, our head brewer. Um, he makes up four kegs of it. Um, and it's... It's just uh, we found a pickle juice that we really like. Uh, we tried, you know, played around with different pickle combinations, but you're admitting um, we're not fancy. Yeah, it's uh, it is just pickle juice. Uh, we found a really good one, really good flavor, really good mixer, uh, really good mix that we hit um, with that. And, I do uh, approve of it because I'm kind of picky about my pickle juice and my pickles. Yeah, it's and one of her obsessions. She she yeah, puts pickle juice in vengeance. If you haven't so tried so, it, try it. Yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> Not so, intentional. <laughs> yeah, so at some point, who knows, we made, well, I mean, I, we, we're going to have to do a Vengeance version of this, so we'll, at some point. I but, have some other fans that will be really excited if we make a Pickle Vengeance. Yeah, so. I also, uh, a little bit of a heads up on this one, while it's out in the tap room right now and it's gone, if you hit, if you didn't get it, hey, you're going to have to wait a little bit, but we are brewing it. 
I just ordered labels, and we're going to be doing a six-pack run of it. So look for it. Um, it'll be out. We're, we're doing uh, pretty, I mean, because uh, let's be honest, we don't have a whole lot else to do right now. So we're going to do a big batch of it, and we're going to put most of it into cans. So it'll hit the liquor stores probably about mid-January. So um, you're going to have to give up dry January to, to get yourself some yeah, pickle beer absolutely. and uh, uh, get in on that. Um, for anybody watching down in the metro, uh, we will be running it over there as well uh, in our self-distribution route and uh, more head direction too. So hit up your liquor store if you want. Uh, like I said, mid-January with cans coming out at you. And it'll be in the tap room, of course, too. Hopefully by then we will be in person and be able to drink it by the glass with you. Yes. So, about the beer, it is um, like any beer, you get mixed reviews. It's light on the dill, which is, I think, good because it still tastes like beer. You actually do still get that. It's not super in your face. It's more, I would say, in the finish. You yeah. Kind of that, that tang, that vinegar, I don't call it sour, but, you know, that, that you get from pickle juice. Vinegar is sour, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I I get nervous about using sour. It's not mm. sour, but that you know that you get that pucker factor you get when you drink pickle juice. That's in the finish. I mean, it's there. It's in the aroma. It's not overpowering. So if you are a middle of the road pickle lover, it should be great. Um, if it, if you're intense like me, it might not be enough. But it's so easy drinking. It's so just there it's lovely yeah i'd probably crush a growler of this pretty quick absolutely i mean look at that it's it just i was i was skeptical but oh he great. was he was yeah. like rah, 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 we're gonna make this we're gonna make that when we first made this uh recipe or whatever this kind of, he thought it originally had too much dill in it and we're all like no no absolutely not we went back and forth does it need more does it not we kind of settled on this i don't think the first few of our mixes were a little intense though Maybe, maybe, maybe. A little, you know, middle of the road. <laughs> so we should have warned you. All right, so here's the scoop. <laughs> We're up at Grandview Lodge right now. Um, it is our youngest son, Sam's, you know, only our youngest, our youngest, our son, um, Sam. It's his ninth birthday tomorrow. So because really can't go anywhere, can't take any trips. Oh, we got to get legal here. Um, we are doing, uh, we just, you know, grabbed a room just nearby Grandview. Uh, it's a fun resort to go to. Uh, typically there's a lot of stuff to do, uh, but you know what? We just needed to get away and get, uh, hang out with the kids. So get the we, kids outside of the house. Yes. Uh, we'll go walk around. Uh, we brought a whole pile of, uh, games and whatnot to, uh, to kind of keep everybody entertained. So thank you. Thank you. You too. Um, so yeah, just kind of a way to get away. Um, we've got a whole bunch of uh, board games, um, presents for Sam, so we'll do that. Uh, he got to kind of pick which what food we're gonna do. But yeah, go for it. Um, so he got to pick kind of our food, our food uh, lineup for the week. So we've got uh, some pretty or weekend, I should say. So pretty good food coming up. Um, so that was from the Northwoods Pub. Um, <laughs> We didn't get up here early enough to grab takeout before uh, three beers in here. So, unfortunately, our food's going to get a little bit cold, but we're okay. committed to you guys here. I'm, I'm all um, about beer first. Speaking of, throw some comments. Give a shout-out. We're looking for questions um, whatnot. Otherwise, I mean... We, we ramble. We, we, can... we want to we interact with you people. Uh, we miss you in the tap room. And, uh, you know, if this is one way we can kind of connect. I'm not smart enough She's to struck. figure out how to do She's this. She's <laughs> That's Sophie. That's us right there. Uh, <laughs> I'm impressed they were going to like, you know, dance behind us and make funny faces and no, apparently food, food comes first. They're going to just go mow that down and hey, whatever works. Well, if you're doing proper flavor profile, wouldn't it be Zach? All right. Okay, okay. Mm. All right, so. Man, that's good. Oh, 
beautiful. Next beer up. Beautiful, beautiful. Stool right in my leg, table leg, right in my way. And very slippery floors. We're gonna see who falls first. That's why we're sitting. Well, my feet are slipping on the floor right now. Fence line. Oh, it's been a while since I've had a fence line. Mm. Well, oh. there you go. Now it hasn't. Exactly. Um. All right, fence line pale ale. Thank you. This is uh, one of my. One of my. Uh, <laughs> So as a home brewer, I was home brewing for a good 14 years before I started the brewery. And as a home brewer, sorry. It's, it's okay. We're just, uh, well, if you say it's okay, then here we go. Um, so, well, 14. All right, then. Whoops. It's just going for it, I uh, guess. So as a home brewer, I was home brewing about 14 years before I started Jack Pine. And I, I just, I played around with fence line a lot. lot. Um, for those of uh, you home brewers out there, uh, it actually started off as the Windchill IPA from uh, Northern Brewer. It was their kit. Um, that was what I brewed the first time. And then played around with it, played around with the malt name. profiles, um, kind of picked the fence line name. A lot of our beers have kind of an up north woodsy uh, theme to them, I guess. You know what? My favorite is hey, what? We should scroll down on the comments. What? My son. Oh! Oh, guys, I am so sorry. Every other time they've automatically fed. I am no, not. No, you have to scroll to the bottom. Oh, first. I'm not ignoring you. Oh, hang on. Now I gotta catch up. Hey, Carrie and Emily. I am so sorry. That was her sorry. job. Lay's spicy. No. Remember that next. Patrick does the grocery shopping. Lay's spicy dill chips. You have to write on the list. I'm Log not it away. It. Got it. And Carrie. And Becky is the second. Yes, we covered that. Okay. I am so, 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 so sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> Glad I could do my job, Mike. Everybody, like, chips and beer. Come on. Um, okay. Ooh, how's the community support, Brent? Um, Jeff? Well, pretty, pretty good. Um, we saw it during the first shutdown. First shutdown. First three, four weeks were just miserable. I mean, we, it's our sales dropped. Um, I started drinking a lot. Um, it's, uh, it was, it was really dark off. Um, and then either everybody ran out of beer in their fridge, um, or finally decided, Hey, I want to leave the house and go to Jack Pine. The weather got beer. nicer. So people, I mean, there's a whole lot of factors. I okay. think that went into that. They're like, yep, I want to get out of the house. So yes, it's, it's been good. I mean, we're definitely down over last year. We'll, we'll have a good day and we'll have, you know, kind of an average day. Um, but it's, what are we still running about 50% if that, I don't know, somewhere. It depends on the day. Mm, yeah, no, no. Overall, some days, no. some days have been pretty miserable for one person in the tap room. I'll give yeah. you that. Yeah, I mean the cooler, the prefills help that they can, you know, we only need one person. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, to tag into the community support, the chambers efforts, the cuisine cash, holy smokes! The community came out in droves for that. Yeah. That is super, super impressive that people are supporting. The industries that have been kind of hit the hardest here with all our regulations so very cool to see about yeah, living that, in that, the Brainerd Lakes area yeah thanks for the plug uh, head over to the mm. chamber website uh, look up cuisine cash um, if you own a business especially if you own a business and you're giving gift cards um, that's a great way to do it uh, they mm -hmm. do have just the chamber bucks too um, mm -hmm. you can you can buy that and those are it, it, it it's a check but it's as good as cash um, business can, can redeem it just like uh, a check um, and that helps support the chamber, the cuisine, cuisine cash, um, all of that goes to the restaurant, the specific restaurants that you, you pick. So that's a good way to support local, especially to support all these, Absolutely. uh, bars, restaurants, breweries. Uh, I think, uh, Fiber Arts Distillery is on there too. Um, I think, I think so. um, that's a good way to, good way to support, um, local, you know, and, and I mean, it gives, gives a gift card that uh, is good. You know, hopefully when we open back up um, to use it, or you can use it now, I guess. It doesn't matter. But, yeah, we've had a couple. But that money goes straight to the business, Absolutely. so that's nice. Okay, right. Are Kim, we caught up with comments yet? Close. No? Kim, okay. I was going to tag you. If I would have known you were on, I would have given you a shout-out. Kim is my fellow pickle lover and hooked me on Pickle Vengeance. Ooh, pizza and beer. Hey, Kayla. What, Garrett? Hey, what's up? Hey, Garrett. <gasps> Melissa. Hello, hello. I hope I hope Lee shared beer with you. Or did she? Maybe, maybe. I know she made the run and came and got beer. 
All right, we're gonna get caught up. Yay, all right. Whew. I am so sorry I was slacking on that. All right, back. Here all I right. said I was gonna drive. I like to drive, read the comments. I thought everybody was just really quiet. And... I was just like, oh no, this is not good. Man, okay. All right. So back our engagement, our spirits are back up, and Ooh. our beer is back in our glass here. So oh. fence line pale ale. <clears throat> started off as home brewing. Um, it's not fensaline. Yeah, it's not fensaline. Um, started off as, as a home brew. I brewed this as an IPA, a pale ale, super hoppy, super tame, um, and just kind of landed on a, um, it's got a little bit of, a little bit of malt character to it. I throw a little bit of caramel malt in there. Um, oh, that's right. That throws the focus off, doesn't it? Yep. Um, it throws a, throw a little bit of caramel malt in there. It's got, so it's got a decent backbone to it. That's why I can handle it. Yeah. Um, cause I'm kind of a pansy when it comes to but we, we back days. yeah we back load the hops in the kettle and it's just really it's just full of hop flavor um but it's not it doesn't have an intense bitterness to it it's fairly fairly balanced as far as bitterness goes the hops um, i like a lot of a lot of hop flavor to it uh i, I throw in uh, it's mostly chinook um with a little bit of columbus hop in there so it's got kind of a grapefruit note without being too citrusy um not really along the lines of all the cool kid hops that are out there but it is a very approachable, very hoppy pale ale. Um, and it's about, um, as far as like brewing goes, it's about 30% of what we brew. So this one's, this one's almost a third of our business right here. Um, it's not always the most popular in the tap room. Um, well, I will say by the growler. Typically by the growler, like big, the 64 ounce growler, that's probably the most popular growler that we have. You're wrong. That's our local old school fan base right yeah. there. Well, it's a, it's I just of a couple people coming in with their two growlers. <laughs> I mean, it's on it's a 5.4 alcohol pale ale. It's like you can you can crush one of Absolutely. them, and it's something you can drink all night long. It's I not can something, even say that that I can crush one. Yeah, it's not something you just like get tired of and it's like, and that's where I wanted it. I wanted it. I'm not after the super hype IPAs, although. We do have a hazy IPA on tap right now. Gotta, a couple hazies. You gotta dabble in that. You gotta have sort some fun. You yeah. gotta do some stuff. But we, you know, this is our classic. This is our mainstay. A nice, yes. crushable, easy drinking. Hey, Bobby. Darcy. Mm, it's good. Like I said, it's been a while since I've had it. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of fun. When I'm in the tap room, when I can be in the tap room, I said before, I drink the taps and I'm kind of all over and. I will admit, sadly, I don't always go all the way down to the end of the fence line. I yeah. usually stop at Duck Pond, and I'm kind of in the, I've kind of been loving the pale ales, the experimentals. Yeah. And I can have them, because they don't have wheat in them. Oh, yeah, what was the one of the new holidays that, I think the Brewers Association put out, like, a new holiday. They, they call it, like, flagship a new February. beer holiday. It's, yes. like, flagship February or something, something like that. I think that's what it is and fence line all february well yeah they, they talk about just like you know what go back to these these old school beers that I love that, it because it's like we kind of we kind of lose That's track of those fun. where i mean the old school craft beers mm -hmm. i mean what was kind of what got us I mean, the classic one a is Summit. a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. I mean, uh, that's like the yes. mainstay. Um, yes. that's, that, that was somebody's uh, first jump. You got to move the mouse. A rabbit jump. trail that I could go down forever and ever is everybody's gateway beer. Yeah. You know? Like, uh, what got you in to... Back in the day when the only craft beer on tap was Sam Adams? Yes, Boston, Boston Lager. Lager. Yeah, that was fat those. Tire. That yeah, was a Boston tires. Lager, Fat Tire Girl. Yeah. Those were kind of my gateways. Yeah. 90 Shilling. Yeah. Yeah, when 90 Shilling came around. Yep, and was... then when I could handle an EPA. Yeah, Summit, Summit EPA. That was, that like, was like a, hey, I grew solid. up. I could, you know. Um. Oh, Derek. <laughs> Yeah, Derek, how about brewing would a nice light lager? Would you like to make a light lager? You're one of our brewers. <laughs> Come on. Peter <laughs> Patter. Have a um, lager? Well, now we can have a lager. We don't need, you know, now we're not cramming yeah, for tank space. Uh, the tough part about a lager, we've tried it a few times. It takes, I mean, getting to know a different yeast strain, you know, it takes some learning. Um, lagers require twice as much yeast, twice as much time, and they're about three times as finicky. Um, so, yeah, we could play around with it. You have no. to answer Carrie's question. Oh, no. Okay, so Carrie, as a home brewer, where did you find your malts, grains, hops? We moved in 2019 from Washington to here, and my husband hasn't found any. Um, it, it depending on where you're saying here is, uh, if here is the Brainerd Lakes area, um, yeah. sadly, it, yeah. it's kind of hard to find. You're going to be mail order. Um, so you're going to, um, 
Yeah, local homebrew shops. I don't think. I don't think there was Minco in St. Cloud, but I don't think they were they were open anymore. I think they, Desi they closed, closed too, didn't he? Yeah, the hop shop, Desi. Um, he was down in St. Cloud. They closed too. Um, it's just so tough because you know, as a home brewer, you, you gotta. Homebrewers always want the the all of the ingredients available, and if you can't supply that, then it's it's tough because then you gotta order online from uh, you know someone else. Um, yeah, as far as like homebrewing, um, right now when I when I when we have to order like small quantities, um, either Northern Brewer, um, I'll order from them there in St. Paul, um, Adventures in Home Brewing, or uh, More Beer. Out of mm-hmm. California. So the main two that I ordered from uh, way back when I was home brewing would have been Northern Brewer or, um, I guess I ordered from Midwest. But then Northern Brewer bought Midwest and I, whatever. It's Northern Brewer and I More see. Beer out in California. Um, those were the two big ones. But there's a there few smaller you are, ones. Zach. Hey, Zach. You going to stick just, around for your so beer? He's just laying in wait, waiting yeah. till we try his beer. So, Carrie, hope that answered your question. Mm-hmm. If not, do a follow-up one, send either one of us a message, whatever. Yeah. If you're looking for emergency, oh, yeah, Zach, right, Brew. Look at uh, Zach helping us out. So, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Zach's in the, uh, oh, Midwest, Midwest is still open. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, at this point, it's just like, it's online stuff. Um, so, fun fact, my first business plan was for a homebrew store in the area. And, uh, yeah, I was a picky enough home brewer that I didn't think that I could start a store <laughs> and do, uh, cause you need enough people around in the area that, uh, want to, uh, you know, cause I mean, you're buying perishable, perishable items and reselling them. And as soon as you don't have that one grain that somebody really wants, um, they're going to order online anyway. So they might as well just order online. I mean, it's just one of those things. Um, who knows, maybe when the, uh, when the, when the brewery makes it big, I'll yeah. start, when I retire, I'll start a home brew store um, oh. in the area. So. Yeah, that's not really, uh, you know, so. making it big type thing. But it'd be a hobby. It just it'd be a passion, a money pit. <laughs> Beer is a passion, absolutely. Making, drinking. Uh, who knows? We'll see. Um. Yeah, that's it. Can you geek out anymore on fence line? That's, no, I'm I'm okay. This is, it is it's great. <laughs> no more. It is good. Thanks for going to the rabbit hole with me. It I mean, is. See, seriously, I mean, it's just it's just absolutely. I'm it's chill. We never have a it's great. <laughs> So if you'll notice, um, both my wife and I are habitual swirlers. Uh, we kind of are. So what's, it's better than like tapping fingernails or yeah, well, okay, so whatever. It but. gets really bad when you start swirling water um, in a restaurant. <laughs> done that too <laughs> um so yeah the uh so what that does what we're doing uh when we're swirling it we're actually breaking out the carbonation breaking that out of solution and th- that carbonation will drive the aromas up into the glass if you really want to geek out in, on beer and s- really smell what what you got in there put your hand over the glass and give it a couple swirls really trap those aromas in there and then shove your nose right into you it do, you get right up in there <laughs> And then you really get the smell of that. So, yes, Kelly Blood Orange. It our, uh, is it's good. Our, it's our uh, shared seasonal. So we've got. I can't. Yes. I gotta stop saying winter because it's not always winter. Well, it's not winter. It's a. We basically. So the Blood Orange. That be biannual. Yeah. Is that that official term? Biannual or semiannual. Whatevs. Splitting hairs. It's lemon shandy six months and then Blood Orange for six months. Yep. Same concept, different fruit. I made somebody's day when I told them it was around for six months because they're like, can you make it year round? I'm like, no, 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 whatever. But it, cha- you know, it's kind of lemon shandy, blood orange shaped place. I said, but it's out for six months. What? Six months? I'm like, yep. You drink it till about April. So get at her. <laughs> Amanda, what does Amanda say? Aww, I miss you. Anyone remember the micro? <laughs> We used to, oh, have we talked about our garage parties? I don't think we have. I think there's a few people on this list that have been to our garage parties. <laughs> there are a couple so, people. So, <laughs> way back when, when uh, I was home brewing, uh, I had uh, a good six beers on tap. Um, 
and uh, yeah, it was. Uh, we just have parties uh, before kids. Mm, of so course. Sophie was a baby. Oh, that's right. We'd have the monitor. Yeah. Yeah. They were the yeah, yeah. first so, Friday of every uh, month from we'd, we'd May. Have, you know, the baby monitor in the garage. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, being party in the garage. From like May to October, because my birthday's in October, so we would do our own Oktoberfest. And sometimes we had five people, sometimes we had 50 people. It was just like if you come, first Friday was the Sunberg's garage. They were always in the garage. And we had themes, because that's kind of right up my alley. So we did Cinco de Mayo, and October we did my, um, we did Oktoberfest, and... I don't even know. We had a Hawaiian in there. We did a couple other things. One time we went way out of the box. Patrick's birthday is in February. We had a party in February. We had bonfire and hay bales and everybody wore flannel and Mm -hmm. fuzzy hats and everything like that. And we had a hot dish competition, which was the very beginnings and kind of stuck in the back of our head for the hot dish competition we had at Jack Pine. I mean, we made a trophy and everything. So Mm -hmm. when we have parties, we... We kind of go all out, and we really like to so do that. We will total beginnings of Jack Pine. We like, will. This was all like <laughs> for sure. When we can get together again, we're already doing some of the planning, um, so some of the infrastructure planning for uh, more parties in the back, um, and we're gonna definitely do uh, more of that in oh, the future. The hot dish competition needs to come back. That was epic. Absolutely. That oh was my great. goodness. So, all so, right, so Leanne has a like techni- like legit question. So the double, that was, so we have one yeast strain that we use at Jack Pine. And it's just classic American ale yeast. Oh, what? Oh, wrong beer. Wrong beer. We have beer for the weekend and grab the wrong one. We have three we're tasting tonight. Um, but every now and then we like to bring in different strains, make different stuff try different things and that's what we did with the double so i can't say for sure yes can't say no it's been a while since we brought the belgian in like quite a while we could do that well we certainly are doing it during covid so no true true we're kind of um getting to know the english yeast that we brought in to make the english stout the hazies um i feel like we made more than that sorry i talked too much uh, the British Golden. Mm, mm-hmm. Um, that was that was a good. That, that's actually mm-hmm. a pretty good beer. We are. Uh, um, I I'm actually a got a, a probably a Big few fan. tweaks that I want to do to that British Golden, um, but it might be back. It's a. It's maybe a little bit too hoppy right now. It's good, but it's maybe knock out about twenty percent. That's little, magical twenty percent. Twenty percent. That's magic. So here's in recipes. Twenty um, percent. In recipes, recipe uh, it could be formulation. I agree. It could be a little bit for all of my multi Jacktoberfest lovers. I worked, we were trying to kind of fit a niche, and I still love it. It's crushable. It's delicious. Oh gosh, I have it every time um, I'm in the tap room. But it's beautiful. Look at that floor. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, we're gonna try to, especially if that one takes off. That's really good because that's a feeder. A feeder beer, we can harvest off of that to uh, kick into some hazy IPAs. Absolutely. So to answer long, wrap around, circle the horses, uh, we're probably going to play around with the English yeast for a while and then maybe bring back a Belgian strain. Cause Actually, I, the yeast is dead. The English one's done. Now. You still want to bring it back and still do yeah. the things you were just talking about. True. Because, um, yeah, I would love a big double they could try and make a belgian quad and i'd be ecstatic yeah big bold sweet and multi and raisiny pruny anyways all right speaking of yeast i know <laughs> we've got a uh, stop so we we are drinking well we're going to talk more about it too um so we are drinking what we affectionately called zach Zach. I still remember scotch, the scotch ale scotch the, ale the, the, the sticker so this was our it. this was our Fourth beer we ever brewed, fourth different brand uh, professionally at at uh, Jack Pine here. Um, so Zach Parker, good friend. <clears throat> Cheers, Zach. I hope he's still here. He might be. He <laughs> French might, is cheering for you. He <laughs> might have already uh, drank quite a bit. He so claimed we'll, we'll he was going to hang around. So okay. Hopefully, All hopefully right. he well, did. He might be laying around. Who knows? All right. Um, especially if he. It, it, did we give him a little bit of a? 
should have got a free growler or something. I don't know. Um, so Zach, we we hosted a homebrew competition um, with with the Blue Ox Brewers Society here in town. Um, if you're homebrew, look them up. Blue Ox Brewers Society. They're on Facebook. Um, check it out. Um, I'm not as active in there as I once was, um, but the uh, did a competition. He had a Scotch a Scottish ale that won. So I was looking for a recipe. It's like, hey Zach, why not come come help us out? Come play around on our uh, come stir the mash because I don't want to anymore. Um, <laughs> to be honest, it's a lot of sweaty work <laughs> brewing. Um, so he uh, he came, gave me the recipe. We floated around. Um, we brewed it, and it was pretty delicious. Yeah. But it's got a different yeast strain into it. Um, so this one, I haven't really dug into this all. That I know. Much. Is it sad that I'm like trying to think? really really hard I, don't, I just know that this one's delicious i'm like trying to remember the original i hope i hope we're giving good props to the original but all right zach has a zach in front of him perfect. if i if i do remember um oh, perfect zach we kind of failed on your recipe on the on the uh, the first time or this the time? first no the first time oh. the first time if i remember tasting it I, when it was on tap i'm like ah boy yours was better um i honestly think i think this is Probably closer to your original mm. recipe or original. I feel like yes. Not recipe. It's same recipe, but it's like different brew system. Different. There's so many yeah, variables. Yeah, I feel like the the peat is a little bit more appropriate. I'm gonna quick answer um, Leanne's question. So this is not to get all murchy murchy. Um, our tea hoodie, and we have them in the store all of the time because they're just kind of amazing and epic. They're it's just like a t it's a t-shirt material hoods, straight up t-shirt so great for the boat the cool weather whatever this particular color we do not have this is red or cardinal to be exact um we have black chili and plum right now but we switch colors bring them in but we have some form of this shirt at all times in the tap room so yeah it's a cool shirt so yeah, I have way too many in the closet because I love them that much. <laughs> Super comfy. Uh, I think I think actually Sophie has some too, doesn't she? She's she got. She got a purple one, doesn't she? She's got a few. She's a couple sweatshirts, yeah. and so she's twelve. And she asks, "Can I wear my Jack Pine shirt?" Like depending on where we're going, I'm like, "Yeah, you can." Okay, just not to school. Not school. Yeah. She doesn't wear them. She hasn't worn them yet. I don't think for. Uh, an online meet or anything like that thank goodness uh, so anyway those if you're drinking a zach right now um it is a so you get kind of a like a peaty like kind of a little bit of a peat a little bit of smoke not like a smoke beer but like hints of smoke um and that's there's no i mean there there is there is a type of malt you can get a peat smoked malt to put into a beer but that does not belong in in a Scotch ale or anything like that. That's that's for that's for whiskey. Save it for whiskey or Scotch actually. Um, yeah, I'm but, impressed because I'm normally super sensitive to that, and this is like appropriate, delicious. Normally, things that are too roasty taste ash tray-y to me, just on my palate. Yeah, just the way. And it's just it is weird. It's one of those flavors. That's what you get from flavors too. Um, it can taste like something, but not exactly like something. Like yeah, a lot of hops. Absolutely. Be like, well, it tastes it tastes tropical or it tastes citrus, and it's like, well, no, it's not a specific citrus. It's a type of citrus. It's like, but I can't pinpoint it. Um, same with this. It's like the best description mm -hmm. I can give for this is like peaty or smoky, but it's not really. It's kind of along those lines. I mean, if Just if you if you threw it in like no. a spectrophotometer and and broke down the ar aromatic components or whatever, it's like it would probably have like little spikes similar to smoke or similar to peat and. And he just geeked out way yeah. more than any of you wanted. Ooh, to hop do. charts are really cool. They had to no. throw them in little, 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 you see little spikes of little, <laughs> little, 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 and little, 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 People ask me how I know so much about beer. I'm like, <clears throat> after that many years, it absorbs in there, and you just know how to talk it, and you can, oh, that's what he's talking about. Okay. All right, Jake, Sometimes. cheers. Oh, Jake, you'll have to save some for you. Hope you're doing all right, buddy. Yeah, we should save you a crawler, so. No, it's, I am glad that we made this. Yeah. I am very, very glad. 
And we've got uh, we're not old school and. Oh, I wish I could flag Cody in on this one. And this is the way we should be doing Zoom, so we could like tag other people into videos and all that, do all that fancy stuff. Um. Aww, that's a lot of work. Casey and Javon. Yeah. Um. So well, at least somebody loves them. I mean, it, it, we've still got thirty people watching right now. You guys are amazing. Sometimes um, I just can't wrap my head around that. <laughs> well, they obviously have nothing better to do right now. So no, they're we, drinking. That's we, it's just hey, hey, I'm drinking. You're drinking. Yes. Let's drink together. Cheers. Let's cheers yeah, over cheers. our plate of greenery. Yeah. So this is really cool. Sorry, I I gotta call it Grandview because it, it's like they do an awesome job. This was on our table. Just a simple just a plate of greenery. Yep. So simple. It's, it's kind of quirky, but it's like, yeah, it's kind of cool. It is the season. So we wanted it as our centerpiece. Yeah. So that's what we do. We ting-ting over our plate of greenery. There we go. It's like when I, I saw it on Facebook. This is like... It's, an, it's our version of Between Two Ferns. This is, a, this, is a, <laughs> this is an Ikea Christmas tree. We just... <laughs> From assembly required. Anyway, whatever. Okay, we didn't really drink that much before this. No, so it's just it's, it's Friday. Just, uh, it's Friday. We are in a different place. We're on a vacation. Yes, um, absolutely. We've got some awesome people working the tap room right now. Um, so and we tomorrow, can't get away. and we're just like we're just yeah we're checking out. Um, this is great. So kids yes. are, I think they're okay. They're okay. watching TV. They have They've pizza. Got pizza. They, yep, they're good. They have not fought. They are, yes, doing well. I wonder how our cats are doing. Whoa. I got stories. We'll tell. No, them. yeah, we do. We have we have weird cats. We have quirky we cats. We have four cats too. Have, That's we how we four. are. That's how insane we are. By accident, we're just. They keep finding him. He finds them. They find him. Whatever. I'm not like I. I will not. I will not go out and search out cats to collect. I'm no. not. No. He's I'm, just I'm in not. the right place at the right time. Wrong place, wrong time. Yeah. I don't know. Our last I time. love cats, so but I don't know that I love cats to have four, but we have four. Yeah, we have four now. So, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna tell a story because it's entertaining. So I had some stuff to do at work. They were packed. I said, "Go. I won't be that far behind you. Just the kids are excited. Get up there and get to Grandview. All right, great. I probably was like." I got home five minutes after they left and I'm like, all right, I'm flying. I got my list. I'm going around. I come upstairs and we leave large trays of food and water just so they're good for the weekend. So they don't get angry at us when we come home. <laughs> yes. They will meet us on the top of the step and yell at us if they run out of food. So I come around the corner and there's food like everywhere scattered from kind of one end into our dining room, into our kitchen, because the littlest kitten he's he's adorable but he's kind of a feisty little snot likes to play in the food mm -hmm. he just hops in it and stuffs his face and flings it he'll, so lay, he'll is, lay in it he'll lay in it, it and is fur. flung everywhere so who knows where we're gonna find cat food when we get home it's gonna be everywhere so the thing i didn't tell you yeah oh, oh. that was that happened pretty much 10 seconds after Sophie. Uh, Sophie filled up the food dish in her pantry. He's so broken. And he jumped in it, and she had to carry him out of the pantry in the food dish and set it. It's a, like an 8x8 eight eight pan. Um, she's like, he just won't leave. He won't get out of it. And he just, just set it down, and he usually like sits down in it, purrs, and munches. And then he was also, did he climb in the water for you? That was we, Oh, we I did a, not get to witness we that. We got a baking dish. Another eight by nine by nine baking dish, um, and uh, yeah, the stupid thing just like would wouldn't lay down in it, but would like just climb into it and then go shake his paws off. Oh, just... Yeah, it's, <sighs> yeah, they fight, they run, they're entertaining. Away from the kids. Absolutely, they're not, they're not, they're not. Right. It's, this is gonna be there. There's gonna be a lot of. It's all good. We should, we should have set up like a a video camera in the house to see what they were doing because they just they harass each other. It was Why does it DJ it's not a salad. <laughs> not yet anyway. No. I love it. It's not as funny, DJ, when you're not like on the other side of the wall saying hi and commenting and heckling us. Yeah. It's small it's green. It's live, isn't it? Or what's Yeah, live? it's well it's not live now. I mean No, I said it was. I added it. No, it's not fresh, it's most green. It's cut from the tree. Okay. Yeah, the needles aren't falling out yet, so 
Okay, perfect. Oh, wait. All right. Soon. Okay, we digress. I am so sorry, guys. All right, so we're going to do last call for questions. If you got any questions, mm -hmm. send... Uh, this is yummy. Yeah, this is... It's Zach. It's, it's, it's a tasty one. I'm a multi-girl. I know I've said this like every video, so this is kind of a delicious slice of heaven because it's... I mean, Duck Pond is my all-time absolute favorite beer, and this is like a... I don't say a nod to that. It's like... It's a little different. It's, it's oh, it's absolutely, no, it's absolutely different, but it's got that... A little bit richer. It's got that slightly sweetness, that multi backbone, but then it builds. There's layers, and there's that slightly smoky, peaty, but there's... Yeah, it's good. It's really good. And it Cody, was... Cody also brewed a wee heavy with this. Oh, I can't so, wait. Which, so a lot of the... Just to be a geek out again, a lot of the Scottish... Scotch ales or whatever I'm so excited. um they basically just vary it's just like okay you got the really light easy drinking scotch ales scottish ales whatever lower alcohol it used to be like when i was homebrew judging there was a uh, scotch scottish or it was like where did it start off as like a 50 shilling 50 shilling 70 shilling that doesn't sound right no 60 yeah 60 80 and a hundred something <laughs> and that was all based on because a lot of the scotch beers scottish beers were taxed based on their alcohol level so it's like an 80 shilling was that level of taxation because it was that level of alcohol um and then odell did their 90 shilling mm -hmm. which is kind of a it, kind of mm -hmm. a, so it, it it's a, that's a scottish style is a 90 shilling um and then you get up into like the strong scotch ales and wee heavies, which is the similar, it'd be a similar recipe, but it's brewed just a lot stronger. Yeah. So we got a wee heavy coming down the line. Bring We're probably going to sit on it for a while. Um, well, obviously until the... We have a coming. lot of beer. So yeah, we're going to sit on Oh, Janelle. So, oh, I miss you too, darling. So yes, yeah, Scott, we'll, we'll work on a wit beer. Um, All right. I, I, always, I always got a wit beer. It's like, I... I that's a summer beer for me. Yeah. I love. I do so love Joy okay. would like to know about the Christmas pack for next week. Ooh. I missed it. Have we? Very timely. Has that been on Facebook? Has is she like an insider? Have we know. have we announced that? I don't even know. I know. Sorry. I've not been on That's Facebook what, today, should, so I've, I've missed we it. Should, okay. We could phone in Taylor. We've been planning this for. She's for online. Oh, she, she commented Ooh, on. Hey. It. So Taylor, if you have. Um, been, yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. Taylor, so, so Taylor does an amazing job of doing all of our social media. So we um, do have. First, let's just go for it. Okay, We're gonna release it. some Christmas beers. Yes. Because tis the season, you know. <laughs> Rob, well, we don't have to. We're at Grandview. <laughs> We're hanging out here. Um, Come on. Because. <sighs> We're sleeping a, right. Amy like beer. We beer is good, and we thought, hey, it's Christmas. Let's come out with some Christmas beers. So we are creating a three pack of Crowlers. Christmas themed, Christmas seasonal. Oh, okay. Apparently we. Did. Oh my. <laughs> Thank you, Joy. <laughs> so Taylor said, yeah. So we, somebody we talked called. about it last week. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love it. Love okay, it, love so it. I mean, here's the here's the disclaimer. We're you know by the time the end of the show comes along, we're three beers in. So, so uh, we, uh, this is what happens. We might. Okay, so we are going to release a three pack of Christmas beer crawlers. Starting Monday. Yes, the three pack of crawlers. Did you like that three? Three Packer Crawlers will be available to grab and go out of the cooler. One of them will be on tap. Don't know which one. Cody's working his magic. And at all times, one of them, until they're gone, will be on tap. But we will have the three pack ready to go, grab and go. The caveat is you have to buy the three pack. Yes. It's like a little bit of a, a flight in a... Six pack or three yes. pack carrier, whatever. Um, so Wait we a do, minute. Is do... that our three right there next week? Boom, three. Like, uh, he's, I want a normal beer. He's not excited at all. He doesn't like all the, all the flavors and all the I like the fun stuff, but I also normal. like like normal beers. Yeah. Um, so what are we, um, uh, plans to the McGregor area? Unfortunately, no, it's a little too far out. You'll have to swing over to Aiken to grab Jack Pine. Um, I'm terrible with Minnesota. Yep. Okay, McGregor's got further it. than. Got it. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, you'll have to grab the three pack. Um, I don't know if 
I remember the three off. The I know of them. Okay, good. Can I, are we? Can I tell them? Yeah, absolutely. So we. Let's do okay. it. You've heard it here first. Folks. Yes, absolutely. So or my, maybe last week. I don't know. No, we didn't see the beers. Okay. So my favorite, which I'm the most excited about, is a cranberry dead branch. Ooh, we've done that before. It is delicious. It's so good. So 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 very good. A gingerbread duck pond, which is delicious. Get off my beer. Back off. I talk too much. I'm still going to drink it. Um, very good. Very um, subtle. So if you're hesitant about ginger, totally approachable. You get the ginger, you get the bread, whatever. And then a, we don't know what to call it, peppermint chocolate black bear. I don't really call it Thin Mint because that's not Christmassy, but when you think of peppermint and bark, that's what I kind of want to call it. Yeah. Um, like well, peppermint, peppermint bark. bark's not chocolate, though, is it? Yeah. Oh, well, right. I hate peppermint, so I don't, I don't... I know. He will not touch this with... Those little Andy's, Andy's mints? Ugh. No. He, he, he will absolutely not touch it. Um, so when you think of... No, I totally think of the, the chocolate and the... Yeah, whatever. Anyways, chocolate, peppermint, black bear. Um, so super excited. I have tried two out of the three. Well, they kind of did a version of that. Look at him. He's all like whining over here because both rules are empty and his glass is empty. And blah, blah, blah. Oh, yes. Taylor says we're going to call it Mint Bon Bon. Um, is anything trademarked? Though? Truffle. I, I know. That's what we get kind of like. What can we say? What can we not? Um, peppermint truffle. I don't know. But those are the flavors that are in it, just so you know. So trying to be Christmassy, trying to be fun. Hope you guys like them. Um, yes, Derek, it is a stout. It's Black Bear. That has been that. Oh, gosh. And Patrick just grabbed the deadfall. We may have to end before he cracks that and drinks too much of it. Because it's going to be, you know, it's going to be one of those nights otherwise. Um, so, yeah, we're super duper excited. We've never done like a three pack. We've released Christmas beers, we've released seasonal beers, but never, you know, in a situation like that. So, hopefully, it's kind of fun. It's Christmas in a. Well, we kind of did the Thanksgiving. We suggested. We didn't pre-package them, but we yeah. suggested beers for Thanksgiving. This is an actual, you can walk in. Go. Yeah, it'll be a grab and go. We're going to fill, uh, well, Derek's online right now. I think we uh, uh, I think we brought a, uh... oh, Scott, I have plenty. Don't worry. Um, we've got, yeah, we're going to do like. And it's only Friday, Scott. We're going to do like 20 packs. We'll go shopping tomorrow. Um, 20 packs right away um and we'll we'll fill if we need mm -hmm. some more we'll fill absolutely we'll run through and, and have them in the cooler so it's pretty easy to i mean during yep. when it's when the tap room's not open it's pretty easy just to hook hook the other three up swap a few beers out and and fill them up so we got some yeah, more so let's so. keep filling on so that's those. kind of the upside of not having a tap room right now is we can kind of fill a bunch of crawlers and throw it in the cooler and uh we've got something something to serve I mean, you know we don't want to go hog wild, but it's like we've there's been a few beers where we've done the milkshake IPA only crawlers. That's all we did. We yep. hooked it up and we just filled true. it and just rock and roll with it. Oh, um, very true. Yeah, Taylor's gonna make them look pretty for you. I do so. think one positive because I'm an optimist and I like to find the positive through this is it's given time to get creative. We probably wouldn't have come out with Christmas beers if. We didn't have the time and the brain space and the whatever to do this. Hey, we can put them in crawlers, whatever. I mean, there are there are positive things. I don't know that the dill pickle beer would have come back no, and been a not. thing if it were not for COVID and, hey, let's do this. So, I don't know. Like I said, I try and find the bright side. And mm -hmm. so, here we go. Let's cheers over our greenery, even though you're... So dead. delicious. Look at it. It is just, it's thick. With two Ks. Man. He emphasized the K and I want to go thick. Oh, with two Cs? <laughs> two Cs? TH. With a couple like. It's not how the kids do it these days. I'm old, remember? Yeah, we're both old. We're, we're old. We don't keep up with the kids these days. Right. Exactly. Yes. So. Cool. I love it. All right. Well, are we going to wrap this out? Do we have a, I, like a closing song or finishing song? They don't or? They don't want that. We don't. No, I was rocking out to my Christmas music on the way out here. Closing they dance, maybe? They do I don't not know. want that. I have to say I'm, I'm mildly disappointed that we did not have kids 
come and Sam had a dance and everything. They're on the screen. In he the was back. gonna like shimmy by and ABB is a good call. Like, you know, hey, mom and dad, I'm gonna do this on the camera. Whatever. Did it's I okay. not put it on here? It's legal. You have or it has I didn't, to. No, actually, you don't. Um, you don't actually need to list the ABV on there. If you do list the ABV on a package, at least for the state of Minnesota, uh, you need to be within 0.1 percent of the ABV. Like they can actually find you if you mislabel ABV, but they don't require it. Um, Dead falls about 10 percent. So. Oh, Jake, yeah, 10 Jake. seven. Ten yes. seven. That sounds right. So. That's awesome. Oh, thank you, Taylor. I will tell him that. Oh, Gina, I'm glad you like the dill pickle. Yes, all my pickle lovers out there. Right. Ooh, have they emerged? Have they emerged? Oh, with an empty hey, pizza box. Hey, send Sam out here, because it's his birthday tomorrow. Come on. Uh, Sam, let's, make, let's make Sam do a jig. Zach, Patrick or I are not jigging. Getting what? jiggy with it. Na, 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 na. You have to say hello to the Facebooks. You have to say hello to the Facebooks. That's Sophie and Sam. There's Sam the man. Hi. He says hi. He's the whopping nine. Big nine tomorrow. tomorrow. So, hi. yep. So this is COVID birthday. Little retreat at Grandview. How's your pizza? Good. Awesome. I guess. You guess? It's gone. No, it's not. Oh, it's not? Gone. Sweet. I got a pizza. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, cool. We're going to check out everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for, for tuning in. We're going to hang out with us. So oh, let's okay. let's peek at the calendar here. Um, we've got... So yeah, next Friday is a normal Friday. Um, Absolutely, we'll be here. So supposedly next week, Monday, we're going to find out if we can open, if we can't open. Uh, you know, at this point, I'm not I'm not real confident. So okay. we'll just kind of play beer. Um, so next Friday, we'll do another three beers in. Just because... We're like hanging out with you on Friday. Absolutely. Um, Christmas, we, out. we had talked about, I don't know, we have plans. We may do one on the 23rd, um, just FYI. So it'd be Christmas Eve, Eve, which is kind Since of a thing. We probably can't have our ugly sweater party. Yeah. Which, which so there's, there's some pending, pending information about an ugly sweater party. Um, watch the Facebooks for that. Yes. Um, Beautiful. And also, I suppose, it, head over to our website, sign up for a newsletter. Um, that's another mode of communication if you're not on the Facebooks. Um, yeah. Stay when you're old, you pluralize it. Just I, I, do that, I do that just for fun. It's just a, <laughs> cool. I, I don't actually call it that. I just do it Before for fun. we fully sign off, answer yes. Stephen's question. Oh, can you cellar a deadfall in a can? Absolutely. Actually, that would be the preferred package. Um, bottles are cool. They look awesome. They're sexy. I love them. Um, but there's there's absolutely no oxygen getting into this thing. No oxygen. No light. Um, it will age wonderfully. It'll 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 age better in a can than it will in a bottle. Nice. Honestly. Good to know. Um, like I said, not I as cool, that that way, not yeah. as sexy, but yeah, there's there's nothing getting in this thing once it's sealed up. So it will age wonderfully. Cool beans. Um, that just aged me right there. Cool beans. Cool. Love you guys. Thank yeah. you. Hey Keith. A quick a uh, quick hi and a bye. Wishing Sam a happy birthday. Yeah, Thank you guys again. Have a great weekend. Cheers everyone. We got a couple more to drink. <laughs>